Audrey Gilbert. I am the MAA project lead for the Kentucky Student Voice Team. And for the MAA Action Accelerator, our team developed roundtable and interview questions, conducted those roundtables and interviews with a diverse audience across Kentucky, and analyzed those results to come up with discussion guides, FAQ sheets, and a number of other deliverables concerning measurement assessment and accountability. With our project, we definitely saw that students weren't as focused on tests as they had been in years past because of the whole shift around testing because of COVID. Um, we saw a lot of that shift in importance, what people place value on. Um, so we definitely saw that whole transition from test, test, test to soft skills and social emotional health and things like that. And the want for things like that from students. Our team, the Kentucky Student Voice team, now has kind of a more devoted team for measurement assessment accountability. Um, we are all kind of thinking through that lens of measurement assessment accountability. And I think we've refined our practices of interview and roundtable. I will say personally, as a student, I will be more active and aware of um, how I approach assessment and accountability. But as a student researcher and a student advocate, I definitely wanna have more of those conversations, make sure more people in the adult space of education are aware of um, just student opinion behind these things because students are the ones taking tests, receiving grades, the ones having to take these classes, and yet we're rarely consulted. So having this information, seeing what my fellow students around Kentucky have said on these topics um, has definitely created, like given me that spark um, to go forward and share what they've said with the rest of Kentucky. So the Seat Common Ground Learning Community definitely provided a lot of resources. Um, the MAA lead conversations that we had that just allowed a lot of space for brainstorming, specifically when it came to deliverables, those were really helpful. It helped me kind of see where I should be at in my progress and um, things I could do going forward to better my practices as a project lead. Um, but also, as some advice for anyone going forward, specifically students, um, remember that if you are a student and you're leading one of these projects, it's not going to look the same as an adult-led project. You have your own unique perspective, so use that to your advantage. Don't try to make it look like an adult-led project. Encourage yourself to be different, be unique, and don't worry if it doesn't look the exact same way. What you're doing is also important. 